Welcome back. Earlier this month, Hollywood royalty Kate Winslet celebrated a big milestone, her 50th birthday. That is our first hot topic brought to you by Walton Art Center. Now, this did happen on October the 5th, I think, earlier this month. Born in Reading, England, Winslet made her film debut in Heavenly Creatures before stealing hearts worldwide, of course, in James Cameron's epic Titanic mm. alongside Leonardo DiCaprio. Since then, she's built one of the most impressive resumes in film, winning an Oscar for The Reader and earning six more nominations for hits like Sense and Sensibility, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, and of course, Titanic. With multiple Emmys, BAFTAs, Golden Globes, and even a Grammy to her name, Kate Winslet proves that true talent only shines brighter with time. I've loved to watch her career sort of yes. blossom. You know? I love her. Yeah. I am surprised that she's won an Oscar for, I mean, she's won it for The Reader, which she did a great right. job, but also it's a weird, it's a, it's an interesting book movie. Right. So, but apart from her other iconic In her, roles, her iconic, her popular you know films, mean? absolutely. Um, but she's fabulous. Fantastic. I just love her. Yes. Well, happy 50th. Happy 50th. And speaking of iconic yeah. uh, celebrities, so iconic actor Gene Hackman's personal treasures are headed to auction next month. From his Golden Globes for Unforgiven and the Royal Tenenbaums to his own paintings like you see here and a Seiko's driver's wristwatch, fans and collectors will get a rare glimpse inside Hackman's private world. So the late Oscar winner who passed away at 95 earlier this year in Santa Fe left behind an impressive impressive collection of art scripts, lots of movie memorabilia, as including rare books like by Rodin and Milton Avery, even everyday items like his dartboard are up for grabs. So this November, Hackman's legacy goes beyond the screen and collectors are buzzing for a piece of Hollywood history. I didn't realize he was such a talented painter. Yeah, I'm so impressed by looking at these yeah. paintings that he has done. And no doubt that all of these items are going for a high price at this Absolutely. Uh, Even if they weren't Gene Hackman's paintings, right. I still think they would be worth yeah, a lot. The memorabilia, yeah. amazing. Well, here's something out of this world. I was really excited to share this story. NASA scientists have confirmed that Earth has a new cosmic companion. <laughs> That's right, a small asteroid that is named 2025 PN7. It is looping around the sun in sync with our planet. So it has been dubbed a quasi moon and it's about the size of a small building, roughly 60 to 120 feet wide and keeps a safe distance, never coming closer than about 4 million kilometers. Astronomers say it's been tagging along with Earth for decades, and it's expected to stick around until the year 2083. So there's no danger here. Just another reminder that our corner of the universe, always full of surprises. Um, obviously, we are not looking at that asteroid in these uh, photos. We right. are looking at the actual that's, moon. That's our moon, folks. Right, but there is a smaller quasi-moon that is now orbiting Earth. It's like it's mini-me. It's a mini-me. It's, it's a mini-me. It's a mini-little moon. I, it's so funny that they'll be like, oh, yes, its name is Force. 7 PG, la right. la la. I'm like, yes. just name him like Hermit. Yes. I don't know, give something. Me a, give me another fun name. Have no some one's personality. 2025 PN7. I've already forgot. I feel bad for you. Yeah. <laughs> Well, talk about a pageant power move. Miss Nevada USA Mary Sickler made headlines during the Miss USA preliminaries by ditching her wig on stage. So she was diagnosed with alopecia last year and she embraced her hairless look, rocking a glimmering silver head covering and matching gown, making her the first contestant with a public alopecia diagnosis to compete at Miss USA. Her confidence and courage are inspiring fans across the country and I love this. I saw on her personal social media she's very active in kind of the alopecia community going on several walks with children and i think that's great so i'd say more power uh, to you, right? yeah she's that's that's wonderful fabulous and that whatever she has on her head right there looks stunning I'm, the whole outfit it's i'm amazing. sure that thing on her head costs oh. so much uh, money no. yes. it's beautiful i love that we're raising awareness about yeah alopecia. that's great well, earlier this month, Broadway star Brian Terrell Clark, known for his powerful performance uh, turn as George Washington in Hamilton, right. of course, brought his talents off the stage and into the classroom, which I really oh, love. I appreciate cool. this education. Clark led a Finding Your Purpose masterclass at the University of Hartford, encouraging theater students to dig deep, trust one another, and most importantly, listen. It's a lesson, he says, applies both to the acting and to life a mindset that helped him shine in Motown, the musical, and on Broadway's biggest stage. 
And after a day of movement, trust exercises, plenty of laughter, these students walked away ready to take their own shot at the spotlight. So I love to see big mega stars like that sort of giving back. Yes, really and cool. I'm, I'm looking at these clips and I'm like having flashbacks to yes. my theater degree days. I, know. I would be so terrified if he had walked in. I would be like, I can't do the class. I, know. I can't do it. I, I would choke. Walked out, exit, stage right. Pass out <laughs> and like just leave her there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, royal drama alert. You always. know I love royal drama. Always drama. Okay, so Prince William is reportedly banning his uncle, Andrew, from royal life. You notice I didn't say Prince Andrew. Right, because okay? that He's title's been, been removed. Stripped. Yeah. Yes. So that does indeed include the coronation of Prince William when the time comes. Comes. The Duke of York gave up his royal titles amid ongoing scandals. Did he give up or was he stripped? Yeah, Let's good see. Question. Um, tied to obviously to Jeffrey Epstein, but William is not satisfied with that. Andrew and his ex-wife Sarah Ferguson will be excluded from public and private royal events. The Prince of Wales is taking a hard line to protect the monarch's reputation and um, to send a clear message to survivors of abuse. Prince William and the Princess of Wales are huge advocates for uh, abuse survivors. Right. Um, and so I think this is great. You know, he, he kind of reprimanded his uncle during the Duchess of Kent's funeral. Yeah. So we already kind of saw some tension. Yes, yeah, so something bubbling. I say congratulations. I'm glad that he's taking such a firm stand. So he's taking, definitely taking a stand. Yeah. And um, it's interesting because they are such supporters of uh, survivors, yes. right? And so mm -hmm. they're staying in line and uh, with with their true with their selves. Values. Yeah, yes. absolutely. The one and only Janet Jackson proved she's still in control and nowhere near slowing down. Good. The pop icon was honored with the Icon Award at the annual Gala of the Stars hosted by Dancers Against Cancer, celebrating legends who inspire the global dance community. Presented by screen legend Liza Minnelli, Janet reflected on a lifetime of movement from dancing with her brothers as a kid to electrifying stages around the world. Now, as she approaches 60, Janet says she has no plans to stop dancing. And honestly, we wouldn't have it any other way. I'm totally here for it. Um, and an icon, another icon we're talking about today, recognized with an award. And I think that is so appropriate, seeing her there at the Gala of the Stars getting the icon award. Very cool. When I was younger, I had this CD of Janet Jack Jackson's that I listened to on repeat so much so that my CD had scratches, scratches on them and it would just yes. be like, ah, nah, 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 you know, yes, like, totally oh. get stuck. I love Janet Jackson. Yeah, absolutely. Well deserved. Well, Malala Yousafzai is opening up like never before in her new memoir, Finding My Way. So the Nobel Peace Prize winner opens up about surviving a near fatal attack by the Taliban, battling PTSD and navigating life in the global spotlight. She gets candid about college life at Oxford, her secret romance with her current husband, and the backlash that she faced over her views on love and marriage. Malala also reveals an emotional return to her hometown in Pakistan, where she helped open a girls' school with mental health support. And she also reconnects with her mother in a new, deeper way. Her story is one of resilience, love, and finding her own path on her own terms. This book is out right now. I read her first book, okay. I Am Malala. Yes. Um, I also, I, her last name is Yusuf Sai. I pronounced it wrong, but I'm excited about this book. She's a wonderful writer. Yeah. So I got to add that die. one to my list. Yeah. You know, during the winter is when I really stock up on all my reading. So she's definitely one to read. I think it's going to be fascinating. Awesome. Yeah. yeah.